Hey everybody, it's Robin. This is Friendly Ship Friday. I know, I know I'm late, but I warned you guys last week that I probably would be because Mr. had to have a surgery this week and it was on Friday and it's just messed up all the timing and everything. He's doing very, very well. So thanks so much for everybody asking and checking in on, on him. I really appreciate that. But here we are. We are still only working on one project and that is the vest that we're making for him. And like I said before, when I was working on the turtle, I am really enjoying working on one project at a time, but I'm also missing working on several projects at a time. I know it doesn't make any sense, but whoever said I made any sense. So anyway, because I'm only working on one project at a time, I'm getting a lot done on it. But I ran into a big, big problem. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. So what am I making? I am making a an adult crochet V-neck vest. This vest is from Yarnspirations. It's a free pattern. That's the vest that I'm making. Very, very simple design. Uh, like I said, it's from Yarnspirations. I got the pattern off their website. Mikey from the Crochet Crowd uh, did a video on it. I haven't even looked at the video. This has been so easy to do. It has sizes from extra small to 5X. I went through and marked everything in the size range that I'm doing. Put circles around it. And it's even colors. It's even broken down by colors in there. So it's a very, very simple pattern to follow. Um, I'm assuming we're going to have a front, a back, and probably a neck and some arm shaping some arm design on it. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if there's arm design. A little bit. A little bit of arm design on there. And so far, I'm still on the back, but I'm very close to being done with the back. I am using Caron. No, I'm not using Caron. I am using Michael's Impeccable Loops and Threads. Michael's Impeccable Loops and Threads. Now, okay, let me show you, and then I'll tell you what happened. This is how, this is how it's coming along. Okay, I'm on the armholes. There's the armholes. This is really working well. There's the armholes. There's the top, the length of it. And this is the bottom. This is, I, this is how I marked the right side and the wrong side. So there was the um, ribbing on it. So this is the back. It's almost done. I've got to do nine inches from here to here, and I'm at about six-ish inches. So a few more inches there. He fits my head. A few more inches there, and I'll be done with that. So it's coming along nicely, not having any problems at all. I, and as you can tell, this is a variegated yarn. But as you can also tell, there's a huge, huge difference in the design of that yarn. That, people, is what happens... When you don't pay attention to lot number. Did I not just do a video about watching your lot numbers, what, a week ago? And then this happens. I cannot believe. It doesn't even look like it's the same yarn. It is so different. I bought, and again, I mentioned this before. When I started this, I bought this impeccable um two summers ago not last summer the summer before uh at the michaels when they did their summer clearance i got it for two dollars a skein so i had gone to one michaels and bought up everything that they had and then i went to a different michaels and bought up everything that they had and obviously got different lot numbers well i didn't pay the slightest bit of attention i had this in my room in a bat in a basket and I just grabbed a skein and worked it up. And I went in and I grabbed another skein and I worked it up. And it wasn't until I got about three fingers into this. And I'm like, that looks really different. Really different. And I looked at the labels and I saw the lot numbers were completely different. So I kept going on it. And I showed it to Mr. And he said, he didn't mind. It's fine. And the way it's looking, 
I think it's okay because it's darker on the bottom and lighter on the top. It almost looks like I planned it that way. So this morning I went in there and I dug out more of the yarn. And look, this is so different looking. You can tell just by looking at it how much darker that one is than the other one. This is the one I used the bottom. This is the one I used on the top. And normally when there's a lot number difference, you can, I mean, it's just so slight you can't even tell. But this one you can tell just by holding them next to each other how much difference it is. So I went in there and I pulled out all of the yarn that I had of this. And I have quite a bit of it. Um, there's about 10-ish skeins left of this. I laid them all out. Now, to confuse things even more, there's four skeins that don't have labels at all. They've popped off um, over time. And I see some little... Uh, this one does. You can see some little kitty chew marks on there. So I think the kitties have helped uh, some of the labels pop off. So between the ones that don't have any labels at all and the ones that do have labels, I have five different lot numbers on those skeins of yarn. And you can clearly see the difference in the colorations in those five lot numbers. So luckily this is a vest and luckily one side is almost completely done and you know what might look good. I'll, I'll easily be able to get the light side and then the dark because this is one skein and I'll easily be able to do this. I think this was one skein. It might have been two. And then it might be cool if the collar and the armholes are done out of that dark again. But the dark I have the least amount of. But it'll work. No matter what, it'll work out. And luckily, Mr. is very, um, he doesn't care. Um, and then the rest of it, I'm, it's going to go hat and scarf because, you know, then if there's differences in variations of the color, it's just not going to matter. But man, oh man, I think that's the worst I've ever had in lot number issues. Yeah, just looking at it, I can really tell this one is way more redder than this one. Look at that difference in that. Unbelievable. I'm very, very lucky that it worked out the way that it did. Because it really doesn't, I mean, it almost looks like I planned it this way. And if this had been a different project, or if I'd have been planning sleeves, and I wouldn't have had enough of that darker yarn, I'd have been so very upset but I'm really lucky that it's working out the way that it is and that Mr. doesn't mind um, the differences in the, the shading on that. So take it from me, people. Watch out for your lot numbers. It's so important. And it's so strange in this day and age with computerization and everything, you'd think it wouldn't even be an issue. I mean, and I expect that on hand-dyed things and maybe um, stuff from small companies that are making small batches of stuff, but not from major, major yarn companies like this where they're making tons and tons of the same thing. I don't even know how they can call that the same color. Hmm. But anyway, there you have it. My mistake, hopefully, hopefully you guys will, will learn something from this and not make the same mistake that I did. Anyhow, thank you so very much and we will see you guys very soon. Please like, and I hope you'll subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.